welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's that time of month again. We're going to have a look at the brand new Planners Anonymous kit. This is Book of Life. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay. Hugger life. I'm going to call it huggy life. Michael calls it huggy life on the live side. Huggy life just sounds much more right. But it is hugger life. It's hugger life. And it's the brand new kit from P.A. Oh. I love, I love the art in this kit. I know I say that every month. I'm aware. But you just, just wait. Just wait till you see this. So it's a, almost a different kind of art that Sammy's done this time. And you'll see what I mean when you see all of this. So, first of all, thank you to Zara who packed my kit. Hi, Charlotte. So, we have all of the kit here. As per normal, this is the standard kit plus the paper plus the extra stickers. No, yeah, plus the extra stickers. Uh, so, I have the standard kit here and that's the extra bit. I'm going to start off, where is it? I'm going to start off with the postcard. Oh goodness, uh, it's time to slow down, relax and spend some quality time snuggling up with my loved ones and it's from Nora is her name. I love that she's in track pants because I basically live in track pants at the moment. They're so comfy. And that's, lockdowns have sucked. Do not get me wrong in the slightest. Lockdowns have sucked. But I kind of enjoyed the whole part of, you know, being home and in my trackies and nobody needs to see me. It's been rather nice, rather nice. Uh, and then on the back, it's got, thank you so much for purchasing our latest kit, Hugger Life. The last year has really shown us that nothing is quite as important as connecting with friends and family. We wanted a kit to celebrate the warmth, love and comforts, comforts, sorry, of staying at home and taking pleasure in the simple things in life. And that's exactly, exactly how I feel about this kit. It really does. It's a very homely, homey, comfy, squishy kind of kit, which is why I like to call it Hugger, Huggy Life. Anyway. So that is the postcard and the first thing up here you have the beautiful pen so it's pink to match all of the pink highlights in this which is just really pretty and then you have the sort of light green dark pink and then almost peach colored gems in there it's got silver hardware love the pens um, where do I go next where do I go next I'm gonna do the quote cards the quote cards. Ooh, look, it's a bundle. You may or may not see that again. And I have ideas. Uh, so the first one here, we've got You Are So Loved. And I love that it's You Are So Loved. All rugged up, warm and cosy. There's no place like home. I love that. I really do. Uh, staying cosy at home and find your joy. I like that they're all the same. The extra colours are often very good, but I like that there's two quotes in each colour. That means I can mix and match a little bit more, which I'm very happy about. We do stamp set next. This is actually a really pretty stamp set. I really, I'm very excited by this. So you've got some florals. I hadn't seen the stamp set yet, and I've just got so many. I just an idea just popped into my head using some of these florals because they're absolutely beautiful. So you've got um, a rose. I think it's a rose. You've got some leaves, which I love. I love leaves. I'm so in a leaf phase at the moment. Uh, and then you have the gorgeous big protea, which you're going to see more of as this kit goes along. You've got some more sort of florals there. You've got that gate door, which you can do either side. Here's a little tricky for you. There's only one stamp, but you can do them on both. Um, and then I think that's a candle, a basket. I think it's a basket. We've got a little mini... Uh, and then you've got some words here. So you've got snuggles, warm, mood, style, my happy place, decor, relax, and cozy. That is a good stamp set. And if no one minds, I may do a bonus. Oh no, I might do it on the blog. I might do it on the blog. I have, I have an idea. Okay, then I'm going to do the die cuts. I'm going to do the die cuts. I'm leaving the bonus item because it's the item that I'm the most excited about but it's also the item I don't want to play with because I only have three and that kind of scares me a little bit. So the quote, this is the um, art card and it's got their home is where you are loved. I just think that's beautiful. That's such a stunning thing to say, thing to have and that would be absolutely gorgeous. I'm still trying to find a place in my office that every month I can have like the the art card from each kit and sort of rotate them through to kind of inspire me 
uh, when I'm creating with the kit because I do create with the kit like on a in a month kind of block I really think that would be a good idea but I can't find anywhere in here that one would kind of work so I'm still working on that okay so then you've got the die cuts which I'm having upside down here so that I can just sort of place them out I'm just making sure that they're all in shot now so we've got this gorgeous ladder with these gorgeous lights they are beautiful I, I, love, I really do I love I love that um, you've got your little cake stand here with your books and your knitting and a couple of jars and the flowers and it just says home sweet home this border oh, I, would, I wish I had two um, I don't know yet which way I'm gonna put that I don't know how I'm gonna use it but it is absolutely stunning how gorgeous are these muted colors they are still pink they are still bright they are still but then just just paired back just that little bit so they're really really intensely pretty you've got the book We've got some candles there with a little flower. Got your little uh, fireplace. Oh, how good would a fireplace be right now? Uh, we've got some proteas in a jar, feels inside. You've got those doors. So you're going to see doors and gates through this kit a lot. I know. You've got a basket, you've got a little floral, you've got some more florals. I'm just making sure I'm still in shot, which I am. We've got a little bookshelf. Another thing of florals, you've got a little picture. I'm just going to move this off so I've got a bit more room. I feel like I'm cramped. And I've got a blanket. I love the colours. That green and pink is really pretty together because it's a really like muted green. It's very pretty. Um, and then you've got the bouquet of the proteas. They're just... Pretty is the word. It's it's They're so delicate but so stunning I don't know if I can explain that properly I hope it, that it makes sense because it is I'm just looking at these and I'm just going I just have so much want to make pretty cards it's just all I want to do right now so they are the die cuts they're all the die cuts let's have a look at these um, this is the bonus item so what this is you're not going to think this is much you're really not and depending on I'm I'm, I'm I'm torn between doing a video with these and not because I feel like they're going to be all over and it's so easy to do but at the same time I feel like I need to explain how to use them so I don't know you guys let me know so you've got five bits of cardstock here they are really heavy weight cardstock and that's because they're the idea here is that you color over the top so I don't think you can see but you'll be able to when I do the zooms that these have like a, a slightly darker pattern on them so this one's got the protea with a bunch of the like the splatters this one's got a wreath so a little wreath on the outside and a big wreath on the inside this one's got the fireplace this one's got home is where you are loved so that's the same as that quote that we saw over there and then this one's got the the leaves and the florals all over it and so the idea here is that you color over the top with something that's water based so grab yourself some watercolor paint tombow markers distress oxide distress ink um, any kind of ink that's water based so you need it's it needs not to be a, I don't remember anyway it's it's whatever which one is a, a water based kind of thing and if you wash over the top you're gonna get the this is gonna resist it so it's like an embossed resistor a distress resist kind of thing I can't wait to play with them I'm trying to think I'm trying to think not of ideas on how to use them because I have a bazillion but I'm trying to come up with an idea to use them that's not the way that everybody else is going to come up to use them. So I'm thinking about it. Leave it with me. Let me know if you want to see me use those down below and I will work on that. Okay, standard sticker kit. So we're going to have four sheets of stickers in here. Oh, hold on. I forgot the washi tape. I didn't forget it. I just, it went up there and I, for, I forgot. <laughs> I'm so excited by the stickers. I'm just going to take these out of their packs really quick. Okay, I had a little squeal <laughs> when I was pulling that out because, oh my god, these are stunning. So, this is the first one. This is the wide one. And this has got... It's got... I'm, just, I'm trying to go till the... I think it's there. So, these always have a really long repeat. It's something that I love about the washi tapes from PA that they, they do have this long before you repeat the pattern. Um, so you've got the gorgeous florals there, you've got the proteas in the bouquet, you've got the blanket, you've got the proteas in a jar, some wool, some coffee, and they've all got the little paint splatters on the back, and you guys know I love my paint splatters. So that's just beyond, beyond pretty. But 
there. Check this out. Come on. Oh, fingernails. Oh. It's got the proteas and then it's got those other florals. I'm going to call them roses. I know they're not. I want to say they're orchids. I, th I feel like there's orchids in there. I'm really bad with flowers. I know they're proteas. But then I, th I feel like there's orchids in here. I think these are orchids. And then I'm not sure about these ones. I think maybe peonies. But I'm not sure. Absolutely stunning. I love that that's on. So they've got the wide one on sort of more of a see-through background. Or a background that's able to let the artwork be the star. And then I love that this one's got that light brown to it. And then I love this. This is the one I squealed out. Check this out with the little lights. And they just repeat and repeat and repeat. And they are beautiful. They would be brilliant. Think about them going that way, obviously in between your days on your in your planner spread or along the bottom or whatever. But also think about them going sideways for like a Christmas spread on a card. Oh. <sighs> What's your tape? How I love these. I love that. I love that. It's not usually the skinny washi that pulls my attention. But that is. And do you know what else I really love? And I know I've said this in a couple of the months that have featured this. I love that there's no foil on those. I love that the artwork speaks for itself. This kit would be, like, is beautiful. But it would be almost spoiled by a little too much, like, by a little bit of foil. It's beautiful in its mutedness. And by adding too much foil, I think you go crazy. I'm very interested to see what the acetate looks like because that will have foil on it. Okay, so then, <laughs> I get distracted. So then the first, this is the standard sticky kit. So we've got our little Nor Nora, I think it was, yeah. Um, all the florals, you've got another kind of ladder here without the lights on it. And you've got that little bookshelf. You have your couch. You've got your little clip that's really, um, very excited by that little clip. You have a bonus little mini sitting here. You've got that torn page and then you've got one of those doors. You've got the numbers, your days, and then you've got your planner. Oh, that is so pretty. No, you do not need another planner. Uh, and then you have your functional kind of one. So you've got your banner, you've got your little post-it notes, your swatches, your to-dos. This week, remember important little things. Hook a life and of course, a bon voyage, which is the next kit. And I'm very excited by it as well. All right. Sorry, I just saw the acetate. Whoopsies. Uh, hold on. Right. That's the extra paper pack. This is the standard. So I'm just going to open the standard one first. Oh my god. This artwork is screaming at me. Okay, so first page we have here is this gorgeous, almost boarded. What would be really cool here, it would be a great cover because you could go like that and then you've got room in the middle there to have the, the title or whatever it is. But if you're a scrapbooker, especially if you don't scrapbook in 12 by 12, if you scrapbook in, I think this is 8 by 10, which is let, like American letter size, this would be just beautiful. You just put a photo in the middle, quote card done. Like, seriously, so simple. Beautiful. I love that. And I love the... I'm going to call them rabbit's tails because that's what we used to call them when we were kids. I'm sure that there is a different name for them now. Uh, but I used to call them rabbit's tails or bunny tails and yeah, they just look so cute. And that's got a pink backing. Oh! Do you know what this kid is doing? Seriously, it's making me think of my gran. And I'm not getting upset and it's, it's, it's making me think of my gran for a couple of reasons. So number one, the girl's name is Nora and her name was Norma. And I know they're not the same but they're very similar. But my gran had, had, she grew orchids, um, but then she also, that was where I always saw these little bunny tails. And so when I saw the bunny tails and then the orchids and then the Nora, it just all kind of got me. I'm really sorry. I don't know where that came from. Oh, just give me a second to compose myself here. Isn't it weird how the smallest little things can remind you so forcefully of someone? It just, it, it felt just felt like someone was yelling my grandma at me. Actually, I can hear her in the back of my head. Uh, and that's, the orchids are on this gorgeous green wash. Oh, and then you have, oh goodness. Uh, you've got like a busy one that's kind of a little bit like the washi tape. It's got the, the blankets and the baskets and the socks and the wood on this little heart background. And then that's got on this sort of sandy color background. Just love. And then the vellum, oh my goodness. Oh my 
goodness. I'm just, I just, that's, and it's not, it's not a flat print. There's some color to this. So I just, I just want to grab something to show you. So hold on. Okay, so this is just vellum that I get from Office Works. I just want to show you what the difference is here. So this is a piece of vellum. This is a piece of Planners Anonymous vellum. This just looks like it's like if you didn't if you didn't play with vellum, you'd know that that you'd think that that was just printed on there. But there's color behind this as well because it's that's what's turned it from this slightly white opacity, like not opacity. You know what I mean? Like it, it's got that white tinge to it. So this one's got that warm tinge to it. So this one feels cool. This one feels warm, and that's the the details that Planners Anonymous put into these kits. How detailed everything is. Because something as small as that, the, the warm tint of the vellum is the things that make it so special. Anyway, sorry, tangent. Okay, I take back what I said about the foil. <gasps> Those leaves. Oh. I'm trying to think of ways to use the acetate, the vellum, and the quote card, and the extra card set all at the same time. I don't think I can. I'm working on it. I'll come up with something. Anyway, this is the extra paper pack. This is the extra paper pack. So we're going to get the extra piece of acetate and vellum, which just, just, and then you have, so you've got the first one here, which is a bit of a scene. So you've got the, the gorgeous ladder with the lights up the side. You've got the painted pro here at the back. You've got the couch. If you're, if you're decorating a house, if you're building a house at the moment, how good would that look as a as a cover just like that? Just like a little notepad or just cut to the right side, it would be beautiful. And that comes on this sort of sandy background. And just to show you, they are slightly different sands. Very slightly different sands, but they are. Oh, hold on. I get it. We've gone, ah, they are the same sand. So there's not six different colors on the back this time, there's only three. But that's because there's only three main colours of the kit. Very clever. So this one's got a bit of a tiled kind of background with the the lamp, uh, the fireplace, the picture frames. That would be really cool to put little pictures of you, like maybe your kids or, or people that you love. You could go in there and that would be a really nice planner spread just like that or dashboard just like that. And that comes on the green. And I think this, I think this might be my favourite bit of the paper. I love this. It's just so clean. It's just so... Oh, oh, something just, I love that slightly, um, it's pink, but it's kind of like it's got a peachy tone to it. And that's got the pink background. Oh. And then last but not least, we have our extra sticker pack. I think that's what we call it. Extra sticker pack. So we've got the first page there with Nora in her socks. I didn't notice her socks before, but now I do. Um, the lamp, the lamp. The ladder with the little lights um, and the, the florals, the basket and stuff. Then we've got our extra planner girls. So you've got this one here just in her cozies. Got this one on the chair and you've got the zooms of those as well, which I think is really cool. I also think it's really cool that she's flipped them. So you've got one looking with the thing to the left and one to the right. We've got some more florals here. We've got some more of the lights, some candles, and then we've got another one of the ladders. We've got some real home decor kind of ones. So we've got the curtains, we've got the shelf, the chair, Crazy days at home, and you've got those two little um, pegs for like a note board and note clipboard. clipboard. Got some more florals here. Actually, got two pages of florals here. You got one with the bouquet, the big thing of leaves, that beautiful protea in kind of like a wreath, and then the orchids. And then you've got two more over here, some more of the lights, and some more shelves. You've got the trackers, so your little ones and your big ones again in those three kit colors. Numbers, circles, hearts, and notepads. Got your word fetty. So we've got snuggles, embrace my loving home, sit, relax, and read, hugger, well being, meals, exercise. These were, and then so you get halfway down and then they start moving into the ones that we see all the time. Uh, so you've got ideas, focus, clean, happy mail. Yay! And you've got your boxes. So you've got this one's like a computer, so it's like a little foldable. It is too. So we've had the um, we've had the foldable present. We've obviously got the foldable planner in the standard kit. This is a foldable computer with a really pretty kind of cover. You've got two planners, a photo frame, 
and then some of those little boxes. These are your box boxes. So you've got your little gates. Please, if you're going to use them in your boxes, please move them, have them opening up. I don't want to do it because I feel like everybody's going to do it, but I may do it when I do my weekly deco. Um, and then you've got this gorgeous, is that a full double, oh it is too. Is that a full double box too or is it just single? No, that one's single. Oh, phew. Um, but that's a full double box there with plenty of room to write things in. That's just stunning. And the same thing here, that's a full double box. So no more cuts down the middle. And then you've got your, your definition of hooger and then that gorgeous protea with your sort of extra little bits at the top. Those jars are really pretty. Then you've got your four um, weekly sets or days of the week sets. So two pink, one green, one of the sort of cream colour, sand colour. And you've got your minis. So you've got your kit minis, so the ones that match up with the people that we see in the kit. The little peekers, left and right, the ones sitting on the couch and then the flips ones. And then the ones that go with sort of functional stuff. So you've got your coffee, your shopping, your books, your happy mail, etc, etc. Oh, I feel all warm and cosy now. I feel all warm and cosy. I'm sorry I got all emo. I don't quite know where that came from, but it got me. <laughs> I have a bazillion ideas. And this is the fun part of getting the kit and why I love doing these unboxings. I get asked a lot why I keep doing unboxings because I know so many people do them and quite honestly by the time I do the unboxing nobody, like you can't buy the kit anymore anyway. So this is kind of superfluous but I love doing them for two reasons. Number one, I love that you guys see how excited I get over these kits. Um, that sounds silly but it's so true. I, I love getting excited about them and then I love that you guys love the excitement that I get if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, but I love sitting here and getting all my ideas and this is where I get my ideas. I pull everything out one by one, I have a look at it one by one, I show you one by one and then I get ideas and that's where all the ideas stem from. It's spending time with the kit and that's how I find that most of my good creative ideas come from is when I'm sitting, I actually need to sit with my product to work out what I'm doing and I have a bazillion ideas right now. I could seriously make about eight cards and about five planner spreads. I'm not going to but I can't. And I, I love it's muted. I've said that before. I love that it's paired back. It doesn't feel... I don't know how to explain this. And I don't ever... Sammy will know what I'm talking about because I talk to Sammy about this all the time. Her kits often feel so jam-packed. Like jam-packed. There always feels like there's so much to them. So there's like a... So I'm just I'm going to use Poolside as an example because it's one that sort of still sits in my head really clearly as an example of this. Poolside had like the pool element the barbecue element, the floral element, and sometimes it just feels too much. It feels like there's so much stuffed in it, how do you use it all? This feels like the opposite. It feels like it's actually been paired back. It feels like there's there's really the comfort side of this, and that includes the house side, so it kind of, those two go hand in hand, so they work. But then there's also that beautiful floral part of it, and they just, they sit together so beautifully that the less is more thing really comes to the fore with this kit. It's really, really gorgeous. I'm love. I just, I just, I'm, 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 I'm in love. I'm in love. Completely in love. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging around while I rambled. Um, I didn't mean to, and I did not mean to get emotional. I'm very sorry about that part of it too. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all the future videos from me. I'll be using Hooger Life all this month. So you'll see a video using it in some way, shape or form, uh, every week for the next three weeks, every week in July, you'll see um, a video of me using Hugger Life in some way, shape or form. If you have ideas, if there's something you want to see me use, if you have a suggestion, please leave it there below or of course you can find me on any of my socials. I hope you have an absolutely awesome, awesome rest of your day. If you're somewhere where it's cold, go grab one of those blankets and hug up. And just enjoy, enjoy being home and cuddly and safe and, and for the rest of us who are going out in the world, take a big blanket because it's damn cold out there, especially in this part of the world at the moment. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.